It's it is very different. Uh, it's it's a, but but it, but all actors are different, and I always try to adjust the way I direct to the particular actor or actress. Uh, then it, the, the, and then make it look as if they're all playing in the same style, but they get there in different ways. Um, but stylistically, you it has to work because some of them don't meet, uh, they don't have any scenes together and they still have to work in the same film. And they access uh, the material differently. The British actors are much more technical than the American method tradition, which is more psychological. But, um, uh, sorry, what was your question? <laughs> it was just that, how did it differ working with yeah, Anne as opposed but to... Anne, but but uh, Carrie Mulligan was uh, very inexperienced and with Anne it's the other way around it's right. not like it's a reaction I'm going next time it has to be someone who knows what she's doing <laughs> but it's because they're but two it different make your parts. job so much harder or easier but for or instance it, it, yeah and you also had the aging thing and the, and, phys and physically Anne is is, um, ha is really in control of what she's doing so the, being this insecure nerd who becomes a more and more poised uh, adult woman to control that when you shoot out of sequence is also part of, uh, of the challenge. But yes, it's completely different. Uh, I think, I know because I've read interviews and talked to Karen Mulligan that she says that she didn't realize the responsibility. She she didn't feel that it was very hard but because she said, I, I just took the responsibility away from her. And with Anne, there's so much pressure on every move she does because she has so much attention. and. Um, and, and so many people really love her and want her to do well and get very unhappy if she doesn't do well. And so it, she has a huge pressure on her, strangely, because you'd think it was the other way around, that a new actress would feel more pressure. Uh, and, and that changes the situation. And also Anne is American, so she's a method actress or thinks of herself as a method actress who needs to find the emotions within her, which is pretty tough when she has to die and overcome <laughs> horrible things in the film um, uh, but she's uh, uh, and she, she she needs and wants to be behind everything she's a perfectionist and she wants to be in control um, and puts very high uh, expectations on herself very often I would say this is fine this is uh, we don't need to shoot 10 more takes. We have got a very good take now and she would just want to continue. Can we please go on and on and on? And that I've never experienced before. And that's when you think that's, that if you work that hard, you know, you dance until your feet are bleeding, then you become Anne Hathaway. But she said at a Q&A yesterday that she one night had been sitting in uh, the makeup chair after shooting, being so unhappy with what she'd done, and now when we had shot the scene, she knew exactly what she should have done. And and then Rafe Spall, who plays Ian, was sitting next to her, saying, "I've experienced that so many times, and that my um, what I've learned is that you are very often much closer than you think. If you are this close to doing what you really want to do, and you feel that far away from it." And she said that was a big relief and a big help. And she knows, I think, I'm hoping that she also learned that she can lean onto other actors a lot. Because these are scenes where they really interact. If you do action, you're just standing in front of, I'm sure that as Catwoman now, a lot of this is, <laughs> you know, you stand in front of a green screen and you don't really interact. So you don't rely on your colleagues the way she could with uh, Jim Sturgis.